Okay, friends. My mistake. I, uh... <laughs> look what I got on my wrist. You probably see them. See them there? <laughs> there they are. They're my sandpaper things. I, uh... So, when we left, Justin has sent me, um footage of him in two you're gonna love it i'm gonna put it up on the channel 2015 bathtub race it was the race for second and third he came in hot into the beach literally flopped himself out slammed into the beach got up raced a guy like you can't walk when you get out of them freaking bathtubs there it's terrible you, you can imagine on your knees that long some people wobble they can't even walk and they try to crawl up the beach to ring the bell right he took <clears throat> I, I can't tell you'll have to see it i'm gonna so anyways i'm gonna throw it up in in, in the channel he sent it to me on messenger <laughs> so we're home we just pulled home me and hogan and i get home and Whiskey River, your freaking axe handles just showed up. And friends, these axe handles, I don't know if anybody, uh, yes, there has been. There's been a couple people who've received these handles on their axes. Um, I forget the name of the fella. It was recently. They're wicked. They are wicked. I love them. Anyways, I got, do you guys remember the Chopper 2s? Chopper, well, I've got one right here. Check this out. This is no joke. Look at this. So what's what's interesting, this is very cool, actually. Check this out. Not a lot of people know I have this. Sorry, friends. This is funnier than hell. Look at, okay? Look at this thing. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? These things, <laughs> they're nuts. They're making them again, and they're at Walker's. Walker's has got them in. We were looking at one. But anyway, regardless, this looks like the same handle. I just bought a, a 36 inch handle from Walker's. These are weird, man. This one's not called the chopper. It's called uh, Split Master. It's called the Split Master. It's nuts. This thing's about seven pounds. It's huge. I think it says on it. But the fit is always. They're. I don't know. They're, they're kind of weird. Hey, they are. They're weird. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is here, friends, is, um, sorry, we're, we're, we're vlogging a little bit today as we can, but we were at Walker's and I, I didn't get you, I didn't get any footage there. We, we weren't there long. Uh, we grabbed a chain and uh, a couple things and, and talked talk to Johnny Walker for just a little bit. And that, and that. So we're here, we're back, we're at the bunker. I'm grabbing my goodies and I'm gonna show you these freaking axe handles. We're gonna do it. Let's do it. Okay. Are you kidding me, Bakken? Open the freaking door skis. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, it smells so good in here, friends. Let's put you guys down so we can kind of get real with our life here for a minute. There, okay. Man, I love these sandpapers. They're wicked, okay? Now, I've got a bunch of these uh, sandpaper things, but I've got um, the red ones. Just hang tight, friends, I'll be right there. Be right there. Okay, good. I'll put these here for now. So, uh, Pierre, from France. From France, friends. Purchased an axe. Neat guy. Neat guy. Molly. Pure Molly. Wanted an axe. He wanted a three pound double bit axe. And he wanted it light. He didn't want a dark burn. And friends, let me tell you. This turned out really Really nice. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, a little be kind stamp on the bottom. Isn't that cute, Billy Ray? You're such a you're such a cute little fella. Look at True Temper, Flint Edge, Kelly Works, the big three. Okay, wicked little axe head. In nice shape. Probably took a beating in its younger days. Uh, went on very very nicely. Mail coming up this week. Off to the mail. <clears throat> Plus, oh, um, 
I want to show you this. Something thin. Something thin. I just finished making it. For a super duper fella. It is a neat, neat axe. I finished it. It, it just has... Here it is, friends. It's 20... It's a wedge banger, friends. Nice little wedge banger for small timber. But I... Uh, I made it look kind of cool. You know how I do the silvering thing, friends, with my axes? I just call it silvering for lack of a better word because they're black and, you know, all whatevered. And I make them a little bit of silver here and there. And I kind of rough them up a bit like this, you see? And, I, and I, 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 I do this, okay? And I just rough them up like this here. And, and I, just, I, just, I just like the look. I just like the look. That's just what I do. Nice little axe, straightened out the pole, had taken a beating, but it is a three pounder again. Um, it's a lovely little axe. It, it's a beauty, as a matter of fact. I made it earlier today. It's gorgeous. Rock away, rock away pattern. I don't know. It's just, it just has that feel and that, you know, feels like it's going to really smack a nice wedge. And it's kind of sharp. Feels like it's going to split wood like what? Well, it's all around axe. Beautiful. So that's that. That was kind of was going on today too. So that's going to be part of the vlog inski. Hang on. Oh, so get this. So I totally forget to tell you, I was talking, the reason I was talking about the, the chopper too, right, is because they make, so, so I'm looking at this handle in walkers, okay? Here it is. <clears throat> it's a 36 inch handle. The grain is wicked. But I just, it, it's just nice. It's got, you, you know, it's got that old school look to it. I like the little hump here. Good quality, long curve, you know, cause you gotta have them down there two thirds of the ax, right? It's just a good handle. You, you know, when you, you can tell when you get a good handle, you can feel it, you can see it, you pick it up, everything works good. It just feels good in your hands. This is that. And another thing why I like, the reason I like straight up and down grain the most, to be quite honest with you, is how the grain looks on the side of the axe. You've got flat grain on the side. It looks beautiful. It takes to the burn sweet. If you get your grain going kind of this way, it's nice to throw around because it kind of works a little bit of leverage like the old leaf spring I talk about. But the burn comes up looking a little less pleasing to the eye. It just me, just my opinion. This is a nice axe handle, 36 cents. Ow, let's do something. Just for the heck of it, I'm just going to grab... Oh, so here's, here's something, friends. You ever heard of the axe company called Walters? Walters, you guys have heard of Walters. I know you have. Well, my, one of my favorite axe um, styles is this, okay? I just, I like it. I like it for a few different reasons. Look at the pole on that. So this axe weighs... It weighs three and a half pounds, okay? Yeah, so so here it is. So so, it's a Walters, friends. I've never had a Walters uh, Hudson's Bay pattern or Montreal pattern. I, I've never had, never. And this one is almost pristine. It did, hey boy, it, it did take a beating at some point. Just finished it up, little vloggy dog, come on in. So here's this ax handle. I just want to see if, oh yeah, what see. What is that? That's nice. Well, I was just talking to my friends about this thing. It's a freaking Walters. Let's see the that's, that sucker's oh, staying that's here. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, oi, oi, oi. yeah, she's nice. It's nice, it's nice, it's nice. It's a good ax hand, good handle. Anyway. Take Mr. Australian. You gonna take it for a beat? I'm just gonna split some of the bigger stuff. That's okay. Nice. Hoagie's been, uh, Hoagie's, he's starting to, I think he's starting to turn logger. It's happening. Yeah, it is. He, uh, he's really enjoying himself, friends. He's, I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm real proud of him. Okay, anyway. Those knots are tough, aren't they? Here, yeah. yeah, I would go just to the left of it and shank it long ways. 
He's going through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just shank off that right side. See where the knot is? Go to the right of the knot. Turn it. Yeah, like that. Just take, yeah, right to the right of the knot. There you go. Dissecting wood. Sorry for screaming, friends. But he's treated, he was trying to go through a massive knot with a big axe, that Australian axe. You, you, those knots, you're just not, it's, it's not going to happen when you're banging the knots. Not, not, not going to happen. Anyway, the wife's in Vancouver. She's catching a ferry boat. I'll be going to pick her up. Uh, oh, let's get... You son of a... I'm not going to do that one more time. I wonder why they give such a small... I'll bet you because... I'll bet you. I'll bet you the reason is... It's because... This is a small... Yeah, it is. That's why it is. Okay, that makes sense. So that's why that is. Interesting. So it's a smaller, it's a smaller eye, friends. That's what it is. Yeah, and we've got eyes, axes with smaller eyes. Sorry to jump out of the screen there, friends. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm glad I bought this. It, it, it's going to be a beautiful handle for somebody. Okay, let's get into something. I want to show you this all stuff that's in here. It's a fella. Yeah, he calls himself uh, Whiskey River, okay? Damn. Damn. Kenzie's, I've got your power saw in my hand. You guys remember that power saw that blew up when I was running it? I put it on the channel. It was, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it was Kenzie's uh, John Thread. Yeah, the piston gaffed. It was the piston. It wasn't the builder. Justin's a great builder. He's been doing it for years. Uh, we found out what it was. Anyway, I'm excited about this, friends. Very excited. Okay, I buy these handles from Whiskey River. I buy them in a 32 inch. I bought them, I also bought them in a 30 inch handle. And I'll show you something. Uh, where are you? Here it is here. Okay, here, here, here it is. They are lovely. No, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> varnish on it. No varnish. They're just, there's something about them. They were a little bit smaller in here that I wasn't used to. I'm used to a little bit, you know. <sighs> They're gorgeous handles. That's all I can tell you. They just see that, see what I mean about the, you know what I mean, friends? That just, they're slick. A big palm swell for like, for you know, splitting. Damn, they're nice handles. So I thought to myself, why don't I try them in a 30 inch handle? So that's what we're getting into right now. And also, not only that, as a matter of fact, I bought a couple more. Um, oh, paperwork here, I guess. Yeah. think here I don't know what that is oh anyway uh, I bought a couple <coughs> excuse me double bits as well three doubles oh yeah here they are here oh yeah see oh yeah the, oh those are nice whoa oh damn oh damn oh these are nice Hoagie's going after that. He's okay. Listen, straight up, buddy. These are this one's nice. I don't know about the rest of them, but I'll tell you right now. I like this thing on a handle when you get a little bit of where it comes down and you get that little. You know what I mean, friends? I just I really like that. Okay, and another thing I like about this, I use Beaver Tooth and Whiskey River. That's who I use at this at this stage, okay? Until I get really set up where I can buy hickory boards and I get the right tools where I can make my own handles, and that will come. You got her, Sonny.
He don't like being on camera that much. He's trying to go through that knot. It's not going to happen. That's a big knot. Stay on the small diameter, boy. Stay out further. Just knock the heartwood off it. This is a wicked handle. This is, it's, it's beautiful. And the reason I like this beaver tooth, I'll show you the difference. I'll show you this. This is interesting. Beaver tooth makes a hell of a handle. Hell of a handle. And so does my buddy, um, East Coast Logger, he's called. East, East Coast Logger. I'll show you something. I'll show you something right now. Check this out. You want to check something out, I'll show you what we got. You want to, you want to see something real cool, friends? Check this out. I haven't used, I'm waiting for the perfect, perfect application yet for this. Now, have you guys heard of East Coast Logger? Or, or pardon me, East Coast Lumberjack. I'm a logger, I'm not a lumberjack. Uh, lumberjack is an East, like a, a French thing, a lumberjack. We're not, we're not, it's a term that away. We're here, West Coast, we're loggers. Uh, but I'll tell you something, here it is right here. It's, lum yeah, East Coast Lumberjack, he calls himself. Uh, nice fella, and very knowledgeable. Very long, but look at his, look what he sends. They're almost like blanks up here, but not here. These are, look at this friends. I don't, I haven't showed this, look at this. Look at the big palm swell. Now I'm gonna show you something on this Whiskey River, okay? Here's what I use for handles so far. I've tried a few different fellas, okay? This handle's gonna be for something, actually something for like what Hogan's using right now. It's like an Arvika style competition axe, like a big, wide, broad, How's he doing here now? What are you after now? Oh, I just heard you talking about this. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. so he heard me talking. So so, so this handle, a big axe, is like for something like this, we'll kind of a broad. Down. That's the Australian Arvika. Do you have an Arvika? I'll show you. Yeah, there is an Arvika. So so again, friends, this big, see the, the palm swell? He's, he's known for his big things. Okay, so there you go. Here's the Australian one. That's the Australian Arvika, and this is our Arvika, Swedish Arvika, which is a HB, right, friends? Halt of fours. Now, basically a very similar pattern. Yeah. Isn't it? This thing's freaking splitting. Yeah, that thing is actually, that's evil. That's a great axe. Um, so that's what this particular handle is for. See how narrow it is, friends? It's very narrow. It's a competition axe handle is what it is. My wife just sent a text that says, just departed, 345. I got to go pick her up from the ferry. She was in Vancouver. Okay, so now. And Rod's a good guy, and he knows how to hang a freaking axe. He knows the business, big time, okay? Hey, Bucking, should I bring the saw into cedar with me? What was that about? Okay. Friends, here's our Whiskey River, and here is our... Why am I why am I drawing a blank? Beaver tooth handle. Okay? Beaver tooth whiskey river. Okay? Both great fellas. Great fellas. I've been more than happy with both of them. But look at the small differences of them. Okay? Look. Here's the deal. You've got on your right, you've got beaver tooth. Okay, my left over here. This is beaver tooth, okay? So his comes down, there's a bit of a shoulder on beaver tooth, he's known for it. His stuff comes down and it kind of shoulders out right away, which is fine, it's great, because you can always just work a little bit of that. He gives you lots of wood to work with, great handles, his grain's always good. Uh, I've never been displeased with any of his stuff, that's beaver tooth, okay? I'm telling you right now, I haven't. I've gone back to him several times. Now, Whiskey River, I've been playing around with him for a little while, he's a nice young fella, uh, very conscientious about his product. He only has premium handles. Smart move, young fella. It is. It's a smart move. Now, here's the thing with, with this. These are the, the things to look at. When you're hanging an axe, you want to be like 
how how wide is this? Like, you know what I mean? Some max handles I get, the freaking eye is only, you know, like you, you, you've got to have room for your ax head. That's a double bit. This is a single, so it's not a comparison. But I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to pull out one of these. Oh, I like these. Yeah, see ya. I, I'm, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, there we go. Oh, th this is, this is, this is lovely. I'm telling you right now. Oh, th these are sweet. These are sweet. Damn. So this is the 30, this is the 32 inch uh, design of this one. He's got that. He's got this coming back a little bit further on this. See this here, friends? See the different in the butt? This one comes out and just snip right there. He's got a smaller snip. This one's bigger. It's the same handle, same swell. Same palm swell on it. It's gorgeous, but it's about... It's two inches shorter. It's a 30 inch handle. It's beautiful. So, but this is what I want to show you. I know I'm bouncing all over the place because I'm kind of a weirdo that way. So here's what I'm talking about. When you buy an ax handle, you got to look at a few different things. You have, you've got your ax head. Obviously you start with an ax head. Beaver tooth gives you lots of room as well. Now there was a certain, hang on. I think I have one here. Or I may not. No, I don't think I do. No, I don't. You gotta watch how much room you've got. Yeah. Oh, I see. Probably won't get these down. I'll have to bust these in half. That's a 22 minute freaking thing. Friends, I might have to send this video out just all as it is. Okay? Just because it's 22 minutes long already. I might have to. Just a hangout video, talk about axe handles and stuff. All right? That's probably what we're going to do. Why the hell not? I'm in one hell of a good mood. I got some wicked news for us coming for this channel and this community and the world. You tell them all, Johnny. You tell the world. You tell them all. Remember that? Barks, bite, barks, root beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I was talking about... Man, these are nice. Oh, these are really nice handles. Damn. Whiskey River does a hell of a job. I'm telling you that right now. He does a good job. Wherever he's getting them done. Friends, I got to go back to the double bits. I have to. You know what I'm talking about. You need the space. I'll tell you what. Here's what I'm talking about. You see these freaking heads? You see how... Oh, where's that other one I had? There it is. Check it out. Look at That's what I'm talking about. That's the measurement I'm talking about. Way different pull on that one than there is on this one. You need a ton of space for these jerseys and rockaway patterns. You need like, where's the single bit? Like this. Okay, look at that. That actually goes on. So this will work. This will work. But I've had handles where you smack into your shoulder really quickly. And uh, see, we're right here, okay? So this would go on, and this would come up just dandy, but you'd use every single bit of what he's got there for you. You would. You'd use it all, okay? There's got, well, I'll show you. I'll show you right freaking now. Look. See? You would use it all, and you'd be left with a little bit of proudness, which is very important to me. So it would be perfect. So these are great handles that way. I wish I had one of those handles I talk about where they're short there. The shoulder kicks in too soon, friends. It does, it kicks in too soon. So here's the thing with the difference on the double bits of Beaver Tooth and Whiskey River, okay? For instance, here you go. Beaver Tooth on top, Whiskey River on the bottom, okay? There you go. Two great ax handle companies, but you can see the difference. The one on the bottom, the shoulder's about an inch lower than beaver tooth, so it gives you room. Lots of room for a big fat head, okay? Um, and uh, Whiskey Rivers uh, doesn't really have a shoulder. He's got a natural tapered fit, okay? 
I like that. I will be honest. I'm, I'm groovy on that. And I'll show you what I'm talking. Yeah, you see what I mean, friends? It literally comes 